Today we are visiting Epic member Fraunhofer IWS. And now when you want to learn how to do something advanced, you go to Fraunhofer. So tell me about this dynamic beam shaping, how this is going to change the nature of laser production. Tell me about this. So, okay, I've mentioned that we are working on dynamic beam shaping. And yes. we say dynamic beam shaping is the next step of laser material processing. Because okay. the laser power is increasing and increasing and increasing but the heat conduction of the material will not change. So we will get an overheating in the process. So the property, so of course, the properties of the material don't change with all of this increased laser power, right? Yeah, you're right. So, so and we distribute the energy. We are still waiting for heat conduction. We distribute the energy in the process zone, and this allow us to use the increasing laser power also for process speed. So instead of this laser energy just being boom, like in a big circle, basically, from the focus point, and that's wasted in doing damage, your technology with the dynamic beam shaping means that I can apply that energy at the point of where I'm doing the work. Yeah, as you see process. here, we make it along the feeding direction. It's, it's a line. It's not a big spot. It's uh, orientated to the feeding direction. Okay, but that's X and Y axis. What about Z axis? So. Let's think about a jigsaw. You know a jigsaw? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we yeah. can do that also with the laser beam. That means we have also a high uh, dynamic Z mirror, which allows us to oscillate the laser beam in the Z direction. It works like a jigsaw. So you're able to actually take photons, a laser, and make something the equivalent of a jigsaw with how it works with the materials. You got it. This is breathtaking. I mean, I know that when you go to a Fraunhofer, you're always going to get some world-leading technology that is direct, has direct industrial applications, but I get what you're saying. So that means with all of these high-power lasers that are being developed now, we're not wasting the power or the capabilities, yeah. right? So, right, yes. So does that mean that we can use this to, let's say, increase production rates and make our factories more efficient? More efficient, yes. Yeah. So the efficiency of a normal laser processing, a uh, laser cutting process, the thermal efficiency is less than 20%. That means 80% of the energy gets wasted to heat conduction or to transmission. And we can increase this efficiency very good with this technology. So you can increase this efficiency and also reduce the chances that you're damaging the material that you're working with as well by finally uh, focusing, I wouldn't say focus, I mean there's other patterns here. Can we see these quickly? Or? Yeah, you can go also to a circle, uh, to a line, to an H, yeah, you can also change uh, the size, yeah, so everything is possible. And this is a demonstrator, but really this could be done with 10 kilowatts output, right? Of course, it can be done by 10 kilowatts, maybe also by 20 kilowatts, so we have tested it now up to 10 kilowatts. You've tested this up to 10 kilowatts, this dynamic beam shaping. Look at here, this is cut with this technology, yeah. And maybe this is such a clean cut, yeah. and look at the depth of penetration. Look there, so there is no truss, and this is not uh, you flame cutting. So this is flame cutting. That yeah. is, the, of course, you yeah, get no truss. Yeah, look at the discoloration but here. This is fusion cutting, and look at the fusion cutting. You have no truss, and this is mild steel and the thickness of 20 millimeters. This is simply amazing. Epic members drive the photonics revolution.